As part of our fear-free sessions, today we're going to discuss about how do we recognize signs in dogs that tell us that they may be fearful, anxious, or stressed. So the essence of fear recognition in dogs is communication. You need to understand how and when a dog is communicating fear, anxiety, and stress to you, so you can modify your behavior and the environment accordingly. The four behavior categories of response to fear, anxiety, and stress are usually referred to the four Fs. Fight, flight, freeze, or fidget. So dogs who are in a fight mode they may struggle, growl, snap, or bare their teeth. They are attempting to drive away the threat. Dogs who are in a flight mode, they want to try to run away, they put their ears back, they tuck their tails and lower the body. They are in flight mode, they wish to escape. Dogs who are in freeze mode, you know, who, are, who are usually still and they seem unresponsive to the environment, they are in freeze mode, which is unfortunately often confused with compliance but it's actually pure terror or helplessness. Not dissimilar to uh, animal of prey uh, when they don't move, if they, feel, if they freeze in a wall, when they see, when they sense a predator walking past. And dogs who are sort of uh, in a fidget mode, they're often very, very energetic. They can't seem to stop moving and they're jumping or barking excessively. Uh, they are usually exhibiting the fidget category of the fear, anxiety and stress response. Patients may display more than one category of signs. Gross signs of fear, anxiety, and stress include panting, pacing, dilated pupils, attempts to flee, and um, you know, muscle tension. Visible signs of fear, anxiety, and stress in a dog generally falls within three categories. Physiological, body position, and vocalization. Physiological signs of fear, anxiety, and stress include panting, pacing, scanning around, being hypervigilant, dilated pupils, and an increased heart rate. Body positions associated with fear, anxiety, and stress in dogs uh, are sort of a, are in attempts to flee or hide, mouthing, lower body postures, standing very upright and tense, or simply lack of movement. Vocalizations in dogs which are consistent with fear, anxiety, and stress include barking, whining, growling, or crying. Not all dogs will exhibit all three categories of the fear, anxiety, and stress response. I'll be sharing with you five signs to indicate your dog is relaxed and also five signs to indicate your dog may be suffering from fear, anxiety, and stress. The five signs to show your dog is relaxed include a soft, loose mouth, eyes with normal pupil size, soft and loose ears carried forward or midway on the head, a flexible neck and a body, and a tail level with a top line of the body and wagging. The five signs to show that your dog may be suffering from fear, anxiety, and stress include a tense body, taut skin over the face and head, wrinkled brow, the lips are pulled back, dilated pupils, the ears are very far forward, causing sort of wrinkles in the brow or flat against the head, totally opposite. The tail high above the top line, or tightly curled as well as tucked underneath the body with a stiff or quick wag. The face may tend with the mouth closed and there may be signs of aggression, such as snarling, lip lifting, or even biting. Learning to read dog body language is both a science and an art. You can learn specific signs, but each must in be interpreted with each other within the context of the situation and with consideration of the other body language, um, signs being exhibited and a normal body posture for that particular breed and individual pet. Some signs such as a tightly tucked tail are clear, consistent meaning of fear, anxiety and stress, no matter what other signs are seen. Others are a little bit ambivalent and must be interpreted in conjunction with other bodily signs, the situation, and what is normal for that particular patient. For example, a dog who is wagging his tail 
we have friendly intentions, or may be very aroused and about to bite. Therefore, it is best to look for congruent signs like the eyes, the ears, the tail, the mouth, and the body. They should all be congruent or saying the same thing, okay? Or you may have a dog that is conflicted and doesn't know what to do. In review, body language signs in dogs should be interpreted with considerations of the situation. Other body language signs being exhibited by the dog and the normal body language for that particular breed and species. Comment below what are the signs that your dog shows when he's nice and relaxed and what other signs does your dog show when he's stressed. I'll look forward to seeing you next event. This is Amity.